Hey everyone. Uh, hi, this is Kevin uh, from the Hungry Agent.sg. So uh, today I'll be doing a quick video on this uh, project that is previewing this weekend. All right, and we're talking about this project called Parklonia. All right. Um, I think probably most of you have probably heard of this uh, project because of the uh, um, firstly because of the location uh, and also the price I think in today's market uh, is considered reasonable attractive All right um, this development is uh, uh, a joint 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 venture between three uh, about uh, so one of which is the CL development All right so if you are first time hearing about this all right, uh, let me just maybe share with you where the location is. All right, uh, it's actually right smack next to Woodley MRT uh, along the, the purple line, northeast line. So from Woodley to Chinatown takes you about 10 minutes, right, um, down down towards city. All right, um, so right now, if you drive past, you will see that the show flat is already up, ready. Uh, it will open its doors to visitors this weekend. Uh, holding everything is up also, All right? So uh, where we are, this is this is this is the exact uh, plot. Uh, if you are driving, you will have to come from uh, Bentimi direction. Okay, turn into Lane Lane, and then you access the uh, show flat. All right. Uh, on the other side is the entrance to Sapphire Marine International School. All right. So uh, where this plot is. Um, you will see that generally it is uh, unblocked, right? Uh, there's a good distance between here to the other side of the road. Uh, if not, if you face towards this direction, this is a park, all right? And then the school obviously is a low, um, uh, low height building. So if you if you take units on the tenth floor, eighth floor, ninth floor, uh, you should clear and you should have a good view towards the city as well. Uh, and then you have your existing Avon Park over here. All right, uh, something to note um, right across the road, there's another development that would be coming very, very soon. I think it's called Woodley Residences. Uh, this is an integrated development. Um, there will be a underground bus interchange uh, over here as well. Uh, then there will also be an underground um, walkway mall that will link on both sides. So next time, there will also be uh, shops around here. As of now, uh, nothing much. So, so you probably have to take a station up to Serangoon or down to Potong Pasir if you need to uh, eat or buy anything. Right for drivers, uh, staying here is also super convenient uh, because once you hit out on the same side of the road, within like less than five minutes along Brother Road, you will hit the CTE whereby you know you can uh, head north to Amokyo or south towards the town and uh, for people who are going to uh, the east side to Tampanese, uh, Bali underpass, Bali road, Bali flyover to the right hand side uh, if you're going to Loni, Bukit Tima, then Fredo, Loni, left uh, so this is super convenient uh, if not as convenient as uh, staying in Topayo like a relatively new town, we are calling it the Pinatari Estate. So right now here, you also see a lot of constructions. Uh, there's a few um, uh, BTOs, HDMEs coming up. For the past two to three years, most of the developments are happening around Potomasi Station. So uh, previously, we have uh, the venue who have just TOP and then you have a few other like St. Reeds, uh, St. Residences. Um, uh, projects mean residences right so um, uh, yep there's also another project that's coming up by UOL uh, somewhere around here I actually recently visited this place with Daryl we did a video uh, called the travel the travel uh, the value proposition might be a bit different for here is really buying convenience uh, for here if you are into uh, riverside living, you want something that faces a waterway, which is quite rare. Uh, then people will probably want to want to buy something over here. So so it's really different. Uh, we are also not sure what at what price this is going to be at. Right, so we have to see. 
Hey, so um, well as always, uh, as a hungry agent, um, staying in anywhere to me, convenience and uh, the accessibility to food is very important. So, just let me share with you. Uh, if you are currently staying around here, the nearest option would be you can actually go to Potopati Station. Uh, one station down is actually not too far away. You can bike there or just you know walk out, take a train down. Uh, sometimes I will come here to Taitong Crescent. Right, what happens is, uh, you see this here, this is the venue, which has TOP, so it's an uh, uh, integrated project with shops downstairs. So, last visited, I start to see like um, shops bringing up, taking up the uh, retail mall uh, downstairs. So, I, I think I saw an ice cream shop, and then recently there's a dim sum place. Have I had a chance to try, uh, let you know how it is, if I have the chance, but what I have been, where I've been to, um, this is the famous one, okay, this this coffee shop, River South Po Nam Prawn Noodle, uh, always crowded during lunchtime, and then uh, on the, just right across this small road, uh, this Lao Tso Tso eating house, so inside there's like a porridge, there's a Ngo Hiang, and there's a Satay Bi Hoon, which is famous as well, um, then at the corner there's a dark rice store, that that dark rice store operates 24 hours, so this coffee shop in a way opens 24 hours, right, and uh, there's a few like, there's a bar, and then um, a few shops, uh, I'd like to also mention something that, not sure, not, not really mentioned a lot, uh, right at this corner, this very very old school coffee shop, then inside this old school coffee shop, there's a store uh, by a old lady that sells beef noodle. Uh, the beef noodle is nice. You should really go and try. Uh, but do go there during lunch because I don't think they open for dinner. Right, slightly after lunch they close. Right, so so obviously this one area. And then uh, if not, then people who stay around Bolo Pase, you know, uh, you go inside the uh, Avenue One itself. This is another um, uh, mini mini. City, uh, town center on its own with McDonald's and then there's the market, yeah, some shops. Uh, alternatively, one station up, all right, you will hit uh, the next mall, okay? So I don't think I need to explain further like, what next mall is, right? Um, Songki used to be here, but they moved to Tamling Street, the original one. There's still a Songki there, but the original one has moved to uh, Tamling Street already. Right, so so yeah, this is the location. Uh, oh yeah, before I forget, yeah, just further up at this uh, junction here, there's this Hong Chang Fork Porridge and BQ Fish. Uh, quite nice. You don't have to go all the way to Geylang. Uh, here, equally nice. Pork porridge and then they sell sambal stingray and all these things. Next door there's a chicken rice. Mm, I find it okay. Uh, I find it okay. Uh, but, but I always come here for the pork porridge. So you can see left, right, center, up, down, left, right. Uh, you have accessibility to good food. And from where you are, Woodley, uh, is really, really on the city fringe. It's like almost like staying somewhere in the equivalent of Geylang Sings or Novina already. Uh, from here, if you drive, you take public transport. Within 10 minutes, you hit town center. Super convenient. So that's why uh, we are pretty sure that, you know, uh, come this weekend, this place will be packed to the brim with people wanting to um, uh, buy a unit either for their own deal or for investment. Right, so let me show you. Okay, this is the project brochure. Uh, if you if you wish to have a copy of this, uh, drop me a message uh, below. I'll leave my details in the description below, so I'll be able to send it to you. Okay. Um, oh yeah, before I forget, uh, for parents, uh, this place is also within one kilometer to San Ju Junior School. It is. And then, uh, of course, there's also Mary Stella, and then there's uh, Cedar Girls, all within um, this area. La. So, if you're a parent and then you're planning for your kids' uh, school, um, staying here will give you access to, to this few um, uh, pretty awesome school as well. All right, um, okay, where was I? Uh, back here, okay. 
So this is how it will look like the plot. Okay, uh, total there's 805 unit. Uh, in US, there's a tennis court as well. A whole list of facilities. Uh, shall not name them one by one. Mm, the whole plan by CL is to do this as a upscale, uh, upmarket feel to the whole development. Right. Uh, so I think when you see the show flat, you will be impressed as well. Uh, a lot of water bodies, waterways. Uh, I think if I have a bigger picture, right? Um, this is uh, a picture of the spa pavilion. So you can actually hire your uh, masseuse here. Uh, I think you can probably block off this place, become your private sanctuary. Uh, waterfall feature, right? Uh, this is the clubhouse. Um, park colonial, so the design will go a bit colonial. Uh, uh, way uh, the clubhouse uh, they're putting a lot of emphasis on it it's like their design centerpiece right high ceiling grand uh, it's always you always feel good uh, to, to come back to something that looks good a place that you're proud of okay so um, let me see okay again this is the site right uh, school okay this towards the Serangoon direction this is a 99 years this whole property as is which most land besides a MRT uh, completion will be in 2022 somewhere in July right total 805 units with six blocks okay these are the unit mix you have a choice from one bedroom to five uh, so if you are buying for investment i think most likely you probably be looking at either one one plus study or the two bedroom classic yeah almost about two three hundred units up for grabs decent size uh, the floor plan looks good also. Uh, I'll come to that shortly. Right, and then um, for the work key, they only have 15 units in this case. Uh, and it only happens to be two bedroom configuration. Okay, and uh, for for those who are buying for own stay, then you have your three bedroom, four and five, from 1,000 square feet upwards. Good size. Let me show you the floor plan. Uh, I don't have everything. Just a few uh, to give you to, to let you have a feel of how the layout is like. Squarish layout. This is a one bedroom, uh, forty three square meter. Okay, so to save space nowadays we always have open kitchen concept. Okay, uh, master bedroom, living straightforward. Okay, but uh, you don't have like funny corners, odd shapes, so which is cool. Okay, this is the two bedroom classic, 56 square meters. Okay, this, this is always a, a one of the more efficient layout whereby you have your hall in the center and then you have your bedrooms on both sides. So you don't have to waste uh, 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 space uh, on the uh, so-called the walkway by tagging all the bedrooms to one side. Um, there's only one, one uh, bathroom. Uh, which is uh, attached to the master, but it's also accessible from the living hall. Uh, nowadays, uh, it's quite common to only have one bathroom for, for two bedrooms as well. Alright, and you have your three bedrooms. Okay, all the rooms can fit queen size mattress. Uh, the master will fit a queen size. The master will have its own balcony. Wet and dry kitchen. Four bedrooms. And five bedrooms. Okay, private leave access with powder room, dedicated laundry yard. Right. So um, yeah, if you if you want to have a more detailed uh, uh look at the floor plan, uh, drop me a message so that I can send it to you. Right. Mm. Okay. Right. So um. Let me show you what kind of views you get. Okay, so uh, 
this is to the back right towards the park so this is, uh, you also get to see some of the school right? this is towards the Avon Park direction um, probably if you are taking it from below and you happen to face this direction then uh, yeah you'll be looking at this development and uh, if you face towards the school I think if you take about 8, floor, 9, 10, it should be safe, it should clear, right? Um, so you will see towards the city. Uh, nice view, nice view, right? So, uh, price. Okay, what happens is uh, the show back is ready. Uh, preview starts this weekend. So, if uh, you guys are keen, um, drop us a message so that we can make an appointment for you to see the place. Uh, we really do expect it to be super packed. Right? What happens is the preview, uh, if you guys are already familiar, preview will go on for one, two weeks. Um, uh, interested party will actually sign up the um, registration of interest, we call it. Uh, right? uh, sign up, put your name down for the balloting, which is uh, expected to be on the 14th of July. All right, so uh, go get a ballot, right? get a number, choose the unit that you want. And these are the indicative prices that are given. So one bedroom will start from about seven XXK, seven fifty, right? Uh, two bedroom from nine hundred. Uh, once you hit the two deluxe, you cross the one mil mark, so and so forth, right? Again, these are price indicative, but um, most of the time it wouldn't go to off from where uh it's being provided. Right, uh, and for this project, if you talk about the per square foot price, I think we are looking at about thousand six something, thousand seven. All right, even if it's on the high side towards thousand eight, uh, it is still purportedly lower than what is going to happen to the new development called Wule Residences coming up right across the road. Uh, if you read. The Straits Times, you read the news, they are saying that based on you know, the price that they got and all these things, uh, likely they will be launching at about $2,000 per square foot. So $2,000, $1,008, right across the road. Uh, your choice, right? Uh, not sure whether, whether you will be able to get a unit of your choice, but if you can, then obviously uh, paying lesser is better, right? Yeah. Um, and it's like you will be directly linked by the mall uh, via the MRT entrance as well right uh, so in this area there are three new launches that we're expecting so first one is Park Colonia and then you have the Trevor which is at Porto Bate Avenue 1 uh, that one is more like a riverfront uh, a living kind this is like uh, convenience and then you have your Woodleigh uh, residences uh, Akantatang right so in that area right now um, as mentioned, most of the new launches happen uh, at Potong Pasir MRT further down. So over here, I think if I'm not wrong, the newest one would be this here at Woodleigh. Uh, if you're buying for investment, um, although the rental market in Singapore is still generally soft, uh, but it doesn't hurt to buy a good location and by buying uh, property that's next to MRT will always put you in a better position to rent it out versus others, right? So uh, nobody can tell you how much will it be to rent um, uh, four years from now, right? Uh, and most, whatever price you see people are renting now will probably be very different four years from now. Only the market picked up by then, right? Uh, from here, but one thing that cannot be changed is the fact that this place is very, very fast um, uh, to the town, all right, and and if I am someone who wants to stay near to the city, but yet I can't afford to pay like Chong Bao prices, can't afford to pay uh, orchard prices, um, then this project will be attractive to me. And and this being a a, a mega development, uh, looking at the facilities, uh, it will be very very attractive to me as an expatriate as well. All right, so. Uh, yep, so I, I guess that's all for for this video. Uh, again, again, uh, the preview will start this weekend. So if you are interested, 
uh, do feel free to drop me a message so that uh, we can actually have the chance to show you around. All right, or if you're undecided, looking for, for, for something to, to invest in, but not sure if this is the right one for you, uh, do talk to us also. Uh, hopefully, we will be able to give you some, um, some viewpoints on our own and, and help you in a better position to, to make decisions. Right, so until then, um, uh, do subscribe to our YouTube channel. Uh, I'll be looking to do a lot more uh, uh, reviews of properties. So uh, once you subscribe, every time something new come out, then uh, you'll be notified. Uh, give us a thumbs up, leave us a comment. We'll be happy to hear from you. All right, so uh, see you at the next one. Thank you.